Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my um, my little business here that I've got going on. It is a home daycare, and I am the director, Patty Miranda. Thank you so much for coming to my seminar to tell you a little more about my home daycare. So let this load up. So my home daycare, it's called Manzanita Early Learning. Yes, I tried to make a little replica, a replica of an actual manzanita tree, which is native to California. So I purposely chose that tree. No, it does not grow apples, but it's a, I don't know, I just fell in love with it. So let me tell you a little bit about manzanita early learning. Our hours of operation is from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. It is a full day. And we do provide extended care from 5 to 5.30. There is an additional uh, charge to extended care of $20, but there's also an additional $20 late fee that applies after 5.30 and every 15 minutes thereafter. Signing in and out is extremely important because this is not only legal matter, matters, but it also keeps everyone safe, the children especially. The reason why I say this is because all children must be signed in and out with your full legal signature. Keep in mind that when you are signing, you are transferring emergency medical consent to Manzanita Early Learning. Without your signature, we cannot be considered to have legal, to be a legal representative in an emergency. So definitely keep that in mind. So if, there, if we need to call the ambulance, we don't have the right. You did not authorize us to have that right. So it's extremely important. I'm sure as parents, you would like us to do everything possible to help your children. And so do we. That's what we want. We want to keep everyone safe. Um, as the adults picking up must sign in and sign, and sign out during pickup. Please be prepared to show your ID if you are asked by a staff member. Manzanita Early Learning staff reserve the right to withhold the child from any person who in the staff's judgment presents clear danger to the child who has not been authorized or written for pickup or who is unfamiliar to the caregiver and does not have a valid picture ID. It's just... It's just precautions. We cannot do it. I'll get back to the other one just a little bit. Meals. So as a parent, it is your responsibility to provide breakfast and lunch. We will be providing drinks such as milk and water and snacks. We will be serving whole milk to children from ages one to two and 2% to um, ages three and up. Let's see, on the infant program, children are, parents are responsible for bringing in infant meals. And we will be writing reports on what they have eaten. Any leftovers will be sent home. Anyone who is bottle feeding, parents provide the formula or the breast milk all bottles must be labeled with names and date. If you are bringing formula, please have it pre-mixed in the bottle. And the breast milk may be fresh or frozen. Unused formula will be sent home. And the bottles are heated in our little bottle warmer. Our curriculum, this I feel is what stands us out from other home daycares because with our educational background this curriculum we feel is the best way that children learn through play so in our emergent curriculum approach and environments are designed to help support learning in all areas cognitive social emotional language and physical development so there will be intentional planning thoughtful interactions, and play-based educational experiences. 
and it's going to that's how it's going to be ran around the curricula and our themes throughout the year. So our philosophy is really important to us. In Manzanita Early Learning, we understand that children build a strong learning foundation in their later academic years through play and build strong attachments as infants with their caregivers. This program is mainly intended for infants and will have a continuity of care program where the children will continue their learning with the same person. For this reason, our ratio will always be four to one. Granted, we are licensed to have up to eight, but I really want that small ratio in order for us to be, to make an impact on these young children's lives. And also to be able to really meet their needs so that it could really be rich learning going on. Our mission statement to you is that we are committed to provide a, an, an environment where children are able to explore, discover, and learn. This will be achieved in an atmosphere of caring, cooperation, and dedication, and the helping each student succeed in the learning process. This is um, my floor plan that I have designed. So here, this is the size about a four car garage, if you will, if you want to take a think about that for a second. I have four cribs and this is to ratio. These cribs, the way they are measured out there is, an act that is what would be a crib size. And um, if you're in that ratio size, if I, if I explain myself correctly. Um, so towards the middle there, you've got the rug and you've got a little bookshelf in the front. To the left, as we're looking at this diagram, um, you've got the manipulative table shelf and then a, the building shelf across from that. There is a gate for, um, for children that are a lot smaller, that are barely crawling in case of, um, just, just to keep uh, materials that are for, intended for older kids, just to be on that side of the gate. There's a little, small little kitchenette. I don't have um, drawn in a little gate, but there will be a gate for no access into the kitchen. Yes, there is a little bathroom back there. And as you enter, there's a check-in wall. And there you will have your child's name on a clipboard where you will sign in and out. And you would have cubbies right there to your right side as you enter, then that's where you would, um, that's where you would bring in your child's clothes and extra pairs of shoes and things like that. <clears throat> yeah, so let's see. And then this, we're actually gonna go back to this one. So signing the handbook, parents will sign the parent handbook to agree to these terms. If not obliged, it may result in contract termination. It sounds a little harsh, but it needs to, um, the, the business needs to be respected as far as it is not polite to continue, let's say tardiness if, if the parents continue to not pick up the children at the same, at the, at the time needed be, and um, it's something that continues all the time. That's the part that is not okay. Now, granted, if we're very understanding to where we know that things happen and, um, you know, we get a flat tire, just life, life happens. It, we absolutely understand and you could get a hold of us. Um, but if it's something that continues frequently, then we will talk about the fact that you have signed the parent handbook and you've agreed to these terms. So um, if this is a home daycare that you feel resonates to you and you really feel that your child will gain so much from us, 
uh, yes, please go ahead and submit an application and I'll be more than happy to look into it and I will reach out to you as soon as possible. Um, and if not, well, thank you so much everyone for attending the seminar. Again, my name is Patty Miranda. I am the director here at Manzanita Early Learning. Thank you so much.